One of my all-time favorite things to do uh, in cosmetic dentistry is four units in bleaching. I think the patient gets a lot of bang for their buck when it comes to their smile makeover. <laughs> Uh, this is Lori, one of my good friends, and she had three veneers uh, that were okay. They looked all right, but there was a little bit of staining and her height to width ratios weren't optimal. And so we used the power of digital dentistry to restore her. Now with CEREC and the Omnicam system and, and CAD CAM milling, uh, you have the ability to have control of your outer surfaces as well as your inner surfaces. And with 4.5, now that we can take uh, shades, we can even take a shade of the stump or the preparation and know exactly what's gonna come through the, uh, for the optics. We have Lori here, we've got an Optrigate in. This is from Ivaclar Vivident. And uh, we always use that, so it helps keep things retracted. Now taking these three restorations off, uh, it's not very hard. They're probably a feldspathic ceramic. So we, we use a typical situation that you do where we make notches. And then uh, we refine the preparations, use a little bit of a laser to get the height to width ratio or the apices uh, a little bit higher on her seven and eight. But what you're gonna see in 4.5, what's really nice is that as you're imaging, things start to correlate. We did this in the biocopy method where we used a wax up and told CERC exactly the shapes that we wanted them to be in. Now, what's really neat about Omnicam color imaging is that you can image something and if something isn't optimal, then you can just cut it out and image again. In 4.5, the rendering of the models is much faster. You're gonna see a, a great improvement with that. Now, when you're marking the margins, 4.5 has increased greatly. This is sped up for you, obviously, uh, but you're gonna see that the marking of the margins is a lot easier than it has been in the past, just more refined. Now, what you're seeing here is our wax up. Uh, these little markings, these blue markings were just for me to remind me that I'm gonna do my little uh, laser gingivectomy. But we're telling Sarah to copy that wax up exactly. So we already have all of that worked out before uh, Lori ever comes in. So what we're seeing here is uh, the 4.5 software. Uh, it's much more lifelike. Now the proposals uh, are a little bit dark. That's, you can turn those up or turn those down. I like the uh, proposals actually very dark because then I know exactly which one I'm working on versus this one versus this one versus that one and so I, I don't have to look down here to know exactly which one I'm working on so I turn them up. Now what you're seeing here is a human cyborg, digital cyborg of the wax up and her preparations. With this in mind with the wax up you can get this into the uh, software and then use the power of the 4.5 including the control uh, or the grid which is control G um, to make their contacts. Now when I'm making a contact, especially ones that I don't want to change very much, make the contact, make a contour and turn it, make a contact and turn it, adjust it and turn it, adjust it and turn it. So then that way you know you're not making it wider or smaller, especially in the midline. So we're gonna go a little bit slower on this one. Adjust the contact, turn it, adjust the contact, turn it. And when you have the grid on, it gives you a better idea on whether or not you're making it too large, too narrow, or canting it uh, mesial or distally. One uh, little trick if you're gonna close up uh, an embrasure shape, a lot of the times you can come in from the lingual side and close up that dark triangle and uh, it doesn't look like the uh, veneers are too thick uh, in the cervical area. Now in this particular case, we're gonna mill this out of uh, Ivoclar Vividence uh, multi-block. What that allows us to do is transition the translucent zone within the ceramic so we even have color uh, or control over the, or the translucency as it goes to the inside of the ledge. Now the multi-block from Ivoclar Vivident uh, has a lot of fluorescence in that translucent zone. And we're gonna take this to the uh, milling chamber. Uh, now there's two different options that you can use the 12S or the regular 12 burr. There's pros and cons on either or. We milled those out of the 12S. Uh, we'll always take an alginate impression while we're waiting for the restorations to be milled because that, what that allows me to do is take them to the model, a very quick model, and I can um, make sure that they're all going down right. 
So when you design these in the CERC software and you then mill them, of course, and then try them on a stone model, when you take them to the patient for the first time, you feel pretty good about it because we don't want any stress in this uh, situation right now. In fact, that's our motto in our veneer class. The class is called uh, One Day Crash Course for CERC Veneers. Uh, the motto is stress kills creativity. When your stress level goes up, your creativity goes down. So we want to make sure that we're keeping our stress as, as little as possible so that when we take it to the mouth for the first time, we, st we are still in our creative zone. One thing I love absolutely is Verilink Aesthetic from Ivoclar Vivident. It's a great resin system to bond these in, uh, but the best part about it is based on value and their try and paste match their resins very well. So you have uh, light cured only or a dual cured uh, resin, so you get to use whatever you like. Now, uh, this is a try and place. This is warm plus, so this is their darker version. And you can see what the shade uh, value is because the, uh, it's based on value. Now, that was the warm, which is the next one up. And then the, the next in the series is neutral. Neutral kind of looks like liquid enamel. It's an awesome looking color. As you go up the, the chain here, this is the next light, you'll see that the try and paste are fairly easy to manipulate. It's very much like the, um, the resin. Then their last one is the light plus. It's kind of a liquid paper type look. It's definitely made to block things out. It's pretty intense. So unless you're doing a really, really bleach shade, uh, it's probably something you're gonna back off on that neutral to light, those two are excellent for, let's say the A1, B0, or a, a bleach range. Light plus is anything for the really deep bleaching situations. We need to bond these in, of course. Uh, I believe in etching. I, I love to etch. I need to see the enamel etch. It just makes me feel better. This is 37% uh, uh, phosphoric acid from uh, Ultradent. Uh, we wanna make sure we keep that on the appropriate amount of time. We're gonna rinse that off really well. Now, her tissue, we did use a little laser on that. So before you get into any of this, you have to make sure you have the, uh, the curvicular fluid and any hemorrhaging com controlled completely before you get to this. I, I love the adhesive system from Ivoclar Vivident. One, the delivery system is just awesome and it has uh, an organic etch in it. So it has an etch with it and, and everything else is needed for the bonding. So um, what I love, with that organic etch, let's say that phosphoric acid would induce the hemorrhaging in that area. You don't have to put the phosphoric acid and you can, and this will not induce the bleeding. So we already picked the very length aesthetic light from the try and paste. And when we put these in, you'll see that it's very consistent to what the try and paste is. So I already have control over what the color is going to be. And then also the ease of use of cleanup. So, we're gonna use um, Ibuclar's uh, light to uh, tack cure that. You're gonna do the facial, do the lingual. And what you'll see, especially with the uh, light cure only option, it this cures pretty easily, but it doesn't get so hard so fast like other resin systems that it's hard to manipulate. Uh, what I like to do is I like to kind of get into a little slot. And once you find it, you can actually start peeling this off very well. Now, even if there's a little bit of bleeding somewhere over here, because that resin is already in the uh, curing cycle, or the polymerization cycle, this is not going to contaminate uh, underneath it as long as it's starting that, that polymerization. So we get these uh, little things cleaned up. You may have a couple spots where it's a little tight. We always, always, always keep a seri saw uh, right next to us uh, because, you know what? It just happens, but the thing is, if you controlled it well enough on the on the tack cure, it's not very hard to basically punch through it. You don't really have to saw into it, especially between a lateral and a central or a canine. So then we'll um, we'll take the the floss, get the rest of that cleaned up. Key thing to any bonding system is really covering the oxygen inhibited layer. Uh, I, if you've seen brown margins, I have uh, over the course of time. Typically, or well, in my opinion, typically it's because of the oxygen inhibited layer is a totally cover. So we'll, we'll finalize the cure on this and then get that polished back. I only use a few uh, instruments to uh, clean this up. We use a 
brownie points to clean everything up. Brownie points are awesome. Uh, they clean things up extremely well. And then the greeny points, what's so neat is you can have them as a tight little point and it gets in there, but it won't scratch the ceramic. It won't scratch too structure. Uh, it's very kind as long as there's a lot of water, not a lot of heat. And so then we're basically finished with maybe a flame finishing burr. We had Lori come in a week later just to do a bite check, see how her gum tissue was healed. And uh, she looked excellent. Uh, they, we really were happy with the, uh, the step that we got from the centrals to the laterals, that gullwing effect some people like to call. I think we really did a good job with the uh, contouring of the gingiva. And you know, when it comes to cosmetic things, it's the, it's the little things that, that matter the most. In order to do a veneer case in one visit, while reducing your stress, you gotta have things, everything lined up. We do that in our one day crash course for Steric Veneers. Come down to Austin, come see us down at Digital Enamel.